Okay, you can see where it's going to go. First exercise was about the x-axis. Second exercise is about the y-axis. Be prepared for some slightly more challenging integration here. So the diagram shows the curve with equation y equals ln uh, 4ln x minus 1. So here's my y equals 4ln x minus 1. And it says the region R shown in the diagram is bound by the curve with the x-axis, the y-axis, and the line y equals 4. So here is my y equals 4 that we've got here. Region R is rotated 2 pi radians about the y-axis. Use integration to show that the exact value of the volume of the solid generated is that crazy looking thing, 2 pi root E multiplied by E squared minus 1. So because we're going about the y-axis here, we know that our volume is going to be equal to pi of x squared dy. And we need to make sure that these limits are the y limits. So it's going to be rotated and it's going between 0 and 4. So we need to do a bit of work here to find out what x squared is. As y is 4 ln x minus 1, we're going to make x the subject and then square it. So that's going to be a y plus 1 divided by 4 equals ln x. And now we can use our exponentials. We know that this means that x is going to be equal to e to the power of y plus 1 over 4 that we've got there. y plus 1 over 4. And if I square this... That means I'm doing e to the y plus 1 over 4, all squared. Remember with indices, you're multiplying these things together. So x squared is simply going to be e to the power of y plus 1 over 2. Because we've got something as a quarter and we're doubling it, it's just going to become a half. So this means to find out our volume, we're going to be doing pi multiplied by the integral between 0 and 4 of just e to the power of y plus 1 over 2 dy that we've got like that. This is just a simple bit of integration here. We're going to just see this. I mean, if you want to, you could think about this power. I might write this power as something separate to help you visualize what's going on. I'm going to say it's e to the power of a half y plus a half dy. So I'm actually going to do that integration. Well, it's going to have to be something with the same power. That's e to the half y plus a half. But I also need to counter the fact that the derivative of a half y is a half. So I'm going to have to multiply it by a 2 as well. You can check this by differentiating using the chain rule. 2 times this thing, well, it's going to differentiate to this same thing, but you also multiply it by the half, which then gets rid of it. So what we're going to be on to for that last part is subbing in 4 and then subbing in 0 for y. So that's going to be a pi. 2e to the, well, that's going to be a 4 times a half. 4 times a half is 2. 2 plus a half. 2 plus a half is 5 over 2. Is that right? Yep. And then I'm going to sub in 0, which is 2e to the half, like this. Looks like I just want to take out a factor of a 2 and an e to the half. If I can take out a 2 and an e to the half, I'm probably going to end up with what I want. So if I take out a factor of 2 to start with, just to make it even easier, and now if I take a factor of e to the half out, notice how I helped knowing where I was going by looking at the answer. I thought, okay, let's see how I can build towards that. If I take out e to the half, that would leave me with take out a half from 5 over 2, gives you squared, and you get this part. All that's left is to write it in the form that they wanted, which was the square root of e, e squared minus 1. And again, this means that the units we've got there have been cubed. So it's 2 pi root e, e squared minus 1. So you can now go and do a bit more practice from exercise 4b. It's literally just practice. There's nothing else that's here other than just doing the same stuff from year 1, but with some trickier integration. The new stuff is coming up in the next video.